Welcome back, class, to Let's Play Mass Effect 3. This here is Arpiton Shepard, the engineer I've been playing since the first game. This is actually my first character. I remade him on the computer and played through ME1 and ME2 with him. Now I'm playing him in Mass Effect 3, and I want to go see what's up with Shepard and maybe Edie. Hey, Joking Commander. Together. You know, I had my doubts about the Council, but after years of ignoring your warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't help. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They've spent years denying the threat. You think they'd be prepared now? I was kind of hoping that maybe they were planning in secret and just not telling you about it because, you know, Cerberus. Uh. Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them, you know, for old time's sake. <laughs> that was one of my favorite things to do in the first game. When the council was being stubborn, you just hang up and they'd be like, Hey, Chipper! And you'd be like, what? I don't hear anything. That looks dangerous. Though, as you saw in Ruthless, when I'm playing Renegade, I just don't answer them at all. It was a bit of a dick move, for sure. Uh, let's go check out... Um, hmm. Is this where... Is this where Liara is? Is this where she's hanging out, down here? Hey guys, how you doing? Hoorah, all that. No, you're good? Okay. Is this where Liara is? There it is. Okay, cool. She's where Miranda was. She's changed things. Maybe we can get some use out of that bed, though, eh? Huh? Yeah? Yeah, no. Not gonna happen. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Oh. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. That's an If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. It's cool. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you've found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. I'm In the doing meantime, that now. Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Okay. I'll talk to you in a sec, okay? It was uh, less than ideal. At least the Council can't deny the Reapers exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. <laughs> I like it. I'm flattered. I think. <laughs> That's cute. Alright, armor mod kit. Show this contact ship and armor mod kit to the Normandy. Technically illegal. So let's say it's only open for One time modification to Shepard's armor. Improving shield strength or adding thermal cover parts. Upgrades. So you told me I had an upgrade. You liar. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. Wouldn't you, so though? So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You we mean, they will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. Hmm. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, Shepard, there's something I need to ask before we go any further. What's it's that? been years since we were together. Are you still interested in us? Well, considering he played through the entirety of Mass Effect 2 without cheating on her. I didn't forget you, Liara. I want to make us work. Good. I was getting worried. There were a Woo. lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later. There's so much left to do. 
No. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later? Anytime. I'll be right here. Right here. <laughs> What's this broker terminal? Let me let me add it. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Hmm? Oh, okay. I'm going to Therum on an expedition. I never thought I'd gain permission to visit the Prothean ruins there, but the University of Ceres must have secured the funding after all. Now to pack. Attachment paper on the end of the Prothean Empire. Goddess, this human shepherd has the key to comprehending the Protheans on an instinctual, subconscious level. If only I could have been there when the commander touched the beacon on Eden Prime. I'll try to learn more about this cipher on board the Normandy. The involvement of the Reapers is troubling, to say the least. I reviewed the old Shadow Broker's footage of the Recollectors. It's chilling to know that there are the Protheans' husks. At least nothing sentient could possibly remain after what the Reapers did to them. Made contact with Tazik yesterday. Look on his face. Not happy. Put me in charge of Sky. Uh, what are the odds of yourself? Exactly. Anything else you got to say, Liara? Old dog? Hello again, Shepard. Uh, what's new? What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. And you like on Mars? I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. That uh, dick. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. We are fortunate Decoding enough. them will require as many specialists as we can find. We will find them. Is that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. And you did kill for a glimpse of it just now. So is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although, I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. <laughs> I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. <laughs> Nosy little bugger. What's been happening with you as the broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What Hagen happened? does. I knew he was coming. Ferron and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. I want to hear about your distraction. That sounds awesome. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. Oh dear. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. That's awesome that you did. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. You did the My right thing. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Farron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. Yeah, but would he? True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Indeed. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course. Those of you who have not experienced Lair of the Shadow Broker, like me, this may be a little confusing. But I did purchase it fairly recently. And uh, I am going to play through it when I do Ruthless. The results are available on the Information Network Terminal. What? What was that? There's nothing here. There's nothing I can do. Stop being a jerk. I hate you, Glyph. Already I hate you. You're not going to be happy about that. Let's go see Dr. Chakwas. I haven't shot anything in two episodes. Commander? That's unrelated. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Hooray. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Really? Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Fair. Expensive stuff, bringing me back. 
And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Sounds good. Guess a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some <laughs> diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Only little? Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. So they come That's back it. if you're... You're the picture of health. They come back if you're a dick. How's our inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stopped before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time. Even given the amount of fire you take each day. <laughs> Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. High five. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. Yeah, it's kind of dickish. So no, I don't regret it one bit. This could be a high five. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. Aww. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. We will. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. What's back here, if anything? What's this? Reassigned powers. Okay. Ah, yes. We've got this thing here. The synthetic. This is where Legion used to hang out. But he's not here now. What's this? I don't have a bonus power. I'm guessing that's a new game plus kind of thing. Loyalty and all that like it was in the old game. Anyone up here? Or do we have to find Garrus before this place will be occupado? Sorry guys, I'm just having fun exploring the ship, really. No, nothing here. Nothing down here. Whatsoever. That's a shame. See, they have marginally improved how quickly you move. But just not a lot. Like, very little. As in, still not nearly enough. As in, good god, why is it so slow all the time? <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the captain's cabin. Maybe we can customize our armor, like in Mass Effect 2. Or maybe my fish will be there. That's the elevator. Okay. Anything in here? My fish? Where are my fish? No! They survived everything! And my models? And my hamster? Where are all my things? Everything is gone. This is awful. That's still there, I guess. Uh, armor set. Casual. Ooh, look at Fly. Ah, oh, yeah, the Han Solo vest. The gross orange Han Solo vest. Oh, I like that. Alright, so the armor set, we've only got one right now. Helmets, and seven. And seven breather. Does this actually do anything useful to us? Oh, it gives us a health boost, so we'll do that. Chest, and seven. Casa fabrication. So we lose some health, but we gain shield regen, so that's good. Uh, the arms. Lose more health and gain melee damage. I'm not really interested in melee damage. Legs, no. Material. A lot of change between those materials, really. Yeah, I've never really liked those patterns. They look gross. Hmm. Alright, tint one. Ah, yes, now we can... Now we can get into business. Alright. Tint 1, Tint 2... We'll just go with a darker orange there, maybe, or... Yeah, let's go with a darker orange. And lights. Wow, there are lights? Oh, just there. Okay, cool. 
go with blue lights. Nice. Looking fine. Alright, so I guess that's all we can do here. Let's go and go to a planet and shoot some things. Down in the CIC. Aw, oh, yeah. So let's see here. The journal. Cerberus Lab. Eden Prime. Trothian Artifacts. Uh, hmm. Okay. Deliver it to him at the Citadel Embassy. Eden Prime. Let's go to the Shrike Abyssal first. Shrike Abyssal, here we come! Oh yeah. Let's see if we can find it on the map. I'm excited! Cluster's already conquered, can be accessed using the Normandy stealth drive, search and search for ourselves. Shrike Abyssal, Crown Space, Navian Crests, Exodus Cluster, Kite's Nest, Hades Camp. Where is the Shrike Abyssal? Is this it? No? What the heck? Where's the Shrike Abyssal? What? Oh, it's in the Exodus Cluster? No, no, this is a different thing! Ah! Well, I guess we're going to Eden Prime, then. <laughs> but seriously, where the heck is the Shrike Abyssal? New and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around the system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance the Reapers will enter a system if investigators increase. If the Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you've completed the mission. So, so what happens if we go here? Do we do anything here, or do we just hang out? Nothing. Nirvana. Anything here? No. No, that's it. Alright, well let's go do the mission first. No. There. Okay. I found something. Oh, you did. What is it? Wreckage. Nice. We're gonna do that. Get some fuel. That was completely pointless. That was stupid. I didn't want to do that. Okay. Idyllic Agrarian World. We've been here before. Let's go. Eden Prime! Shoot some guns at stuff. Cycle appearances. Oh, she has multiple appearances. That's neat. I like that one. How about you, James? Do you have multiple appearances? Oh, good god. I guess that's our choice. So let's go down to Eden Prime. Alright, assault rifle, sniper rifle. We're good. And you've got the Avenger. Why don't you switch over to that? I think it's better pretty much every way. And we can give you this and this. There you go. Bullets to pierce objects. Ignores. Oh, okay. There you go. You enjoy that. Tana and our Vindicator. No mods there. And Liara. We've got the Predator. No mods for that. How about this? We do have mods for this. Ultralight Materials reduces the weight. Cool. I guess. And you need to level up. I can't. I don't know if you can either. I don't really like stasis. Maybe we'll save those points. James, frag grenade. Carnage. Sure. Have another grenade, James. And a, whatever. There you go. Enjoy that also. Niara, I guess we'll boost up your stasis. I don't really like stasis, but whatever. 
and I can't do anything with those points, so we're not going to worry about it. And that's the end of this episode. When we return, we're going to go down to the planet. Till then, all the best.